whether you buy you know, an onboard panel PC with Ignition Edge panel already installed or you install it on another device, here are the, some, some advantages that you won't get from a traditional HMI. One, the software doesn't require a special piece of hardware to run. You can choose from a variety of inexpensive commodity hardware products instead of being locked into uh, using expensive proprietary hardware. Two, you know, you can replace failed HMIs more quickly and affordably. If your HMI is an isolated all-in-one unit and it failed, you'd have to replace it with the same all-in-one unit and you'd need to restore the project that was on it. But if it's decoupled, the decoupled HMI and it fails, uh, you can just install it on a new panel PC you know, of any brand, install the same software, you're back in business, much simpler and more economical. The development environment's included, so the user doesn't need to download it separately or license it separately to be able to go in and connect to the HMI and configure it. It's just a native part of the HMI. With Ignition, every installation has a designer included, as I said before. In addition to HMI functionality, Edge Panel offers parallel functionality as data collection software, both the data conduit and data communication. So you can mix and match Ignition Edge Panel with other Ignition Edge products, which is really where it starts to become really powerful. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about the other Edge products that we have. It's worth noting that all of these are software and kind of like with our standard platform, you have modules, you can put whichever modules you need on, on one gateway and it just unlocks new functionality. Same way, uh, these different Edge products can all be part of the same installation of Ignition on the same hardware. Uh, just as you add each one, it unlocks new functionality. We've been talking about this second one here, Ignition Edge Panel. Ignition Edge Panel, you know, is just a visualization, it's a standalone product. It doesn't really connect up to a centralized system. It doesn't forward data. So if you wanted to have Edge Panel be, you know, a data conduit to send the data up to a centralized Ignition system, you have two ways to do that. The first of which is actually this, this fourth one listed here, Ignition Edge Sync Services. That allows you to make a gateway network connection up to your central ignition gateway. Gateway network is our proprietary ignition to ignition protocol. And uh, then it'll send real-time information, alarm information, and historical data all up to that centralized system. And if you lose the connection, it buffers it locally, forwards all that data to backfill your historian you know, after the network is connections restored. So really powerful when you're in regulated industries and you can't lose data or you have to you know, file a report or, any, or something like that every time you lose data, having that backfill becomes really powerful. But say it's not Ignition centrally that you're trying to publish data to. You wanna publish data in an open source way. That's what this first one, Ignition Edge IIoT is for. It takes that data and publishes it up via MQTT. That could be to a centralized ignition system or just to a broker, which then any other business application that supports MQTT can subscribe to. So now you're decoupling your infrastructure from your applications. It becomes this really powerful data method there. And also with Edge IIoT, it allows third-party systems to connect to Ignition Edge IIoT as an OPC server. So if you need external systems to connect as an OPC client to Ignition's OPC server, Edge IIoT allows you to do that. Edge Compute gives you scripting capabilities at the edge. So already with Edge Panel, you could have scripts run on screen. And so when a user clicks a button or does something on screen, that can fire you know, Python scripts inside Ignition. But if you needed a tag change script or a timer script or a scheduled script, something like that, that's what this Edge Compute product is for. And then lastly, this is actually one of my favorite uh, versions of Edge, is Ignition Edge EAM. And this is saying, all right, this is cool. I now am choosing Ignition Edge Panel to be my HMI of choice, and I deploy 100 of these throughout a facility or even you know, across a, a wide area network. And you say, well, how do I manage those? I want to go apply license keys to all of these. I want to go and do updates on all these. I want to monitor the health of these. I want to uh, develop something centrally, and I want to push out changes to all of them all at once. How do I do that? Well, that's what this Edge EAM does, you install EAM on a central Ignition server and you uh, have those gateway network connections out to all of your Edge panels. And then via the EAM module, you can define these tasks to do all those things I, I mentioned. You can push out licenses, you can remotely take backups, you can push out upgrades, you can push out updates to projects, you can move tags, all that kind of stuff. And so this is really a differentiating feature of Ignition as your HMI solution because you have that centralized management that's all done really easily 
And so say you have a panel that goes down, you need to replace it. You grab whatever hardware you have available, you have ignition installed there, and then you just connect it up to that ignition edge EAM centrally. And via EAM, it already has the backups that it's been taking. It can take the right backup and go and restore it to that one all centrally. So what your guys, you know, on the floor had to do is they just had to go take it, you know, plug it in, make sure it's connected. And then, you know, your central EAM does all the rest. So really powerful there. 